Right, we're looking at surface area and volume of complex shapes. Now, I, complex shapes I'm calling uh, spheres, cones, pyramids, uh, frustums, uh, stuff like that. So that's all they are. They're certain formula um, for surface area that are given to you. So here for a, what's it, a sphere first of all. So surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. And the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. All right, so you're given them at the front of the paper, but often worth remembering because lots of people forget to look at the front of the paper. So there you go. So all I've got to do is swap three for each of them. So four times pi, oops, uh, four times pi times uh, three squared, which gives me 36 pi. That would be perfectly all right to leave it as that. Um, or and don't forget centimeter squared. If you wanted to do it as one one three point one, that is also fine. And it's square because surface area for volume. Now four thirds. How do you put that in your calculator? Well, you can use the fraction button if you like. But you could do four times pi times uh, three cubed divided by three. Okay. And again, all oh my word, isn't that weird? The volume and the surface area of those of that sphere, sorry, are the same, so there you go. Alright, so a couple of formulae that you will be given, but it's worth remembering. Same with the cone, the surface area is pi r l. Now, r for radius, obviously, l is the slant height. Now, if I drew a little sketch of a cone, the vertical height is here, the slant height is this one here. Okay, so that's L there. All right, so uh, you might need to work that out using a bit of um, Pythagoras or something like that. The volume of a cone is a third pi r squared h. All right, so h this time is the vertical height. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually do the volume here, first of all, because I have all the information for that already. A third, again, we can divide by three at the end. So pi times six squared times eight divided by three gives me 96 pi. All right, and that's uh, centimeters cubed. If you wanted to do that, it's 301.6. Okay, and the surface area now, I've got six and eight, so that means... Uh, because we've got a right angle triangle, we've got 6 squared plus 8 squared. Oops. Right, and that gives me 10. So L is going to be 10 in this case. So L will be 10. So now I just chuck in my pi times 6 times 10. All right, which gives me 60 pi. I don't know why I used to calculate. Actually, I do know why I used to calculate it. Because there we go. So that's 188.5. And again, centimetre squared, because we're looking at surface area. Now then, the volume of a square base pyramid, base side 6, vertical height 8. Now, volume of any pyramid, um, cones the same, is a third the base area uh, times the height. And that's ultimately what you've got here. It's a third base area times the height. All right, so it's a square base pyramid, so we're doing a third times the base area times the height and so there you go that's what I'm going to stick in my calculator and I'm going to get 96 centimeters cubed all right pretty straightforward um, I'm sure you'll agree but you're not given that uh, formula so you need to remember that so it's a third base area times the height for pyramids all right now a frustum is basically like a pyramid or a cone there can be a conical frustum as well um, with the top chopped off. Now this top is, uh, th this line here is going to be parallel to this line. So you've got some trapeziums there. If you're ever asked to work out the surface area, you don't, that's very, that's not really, doesn't happen that much at all. But you might be, uh, might be asked to. Now, again, we've got to work out uh, what the height of the whole thing is. So if the top hadn't been chopped off, how high would it be? Now at the moment it's three, so I couldn't, I couldn't draw that very well, but at the moment that's three. And the length of side's gone but down by two, so I want it to go down all the way to, to zero. So every time it goes down two, 
we've gone up three centimeters. So whilst this six here is three quarters of this, this is just going to be one quarter of the entire height. So therefore, the whole thing will be a third times the base area times the height, which is going to be 12. And I'm going to take away the bit I've cut off, which is a third times six times six times, and it's going to be nine. All right, and that's what I'm going to stick in my calculator. In fact, I'll put the negative sign there between them. Okay, so you've got to be a little bit careful, okay, to work out what the height of the whole thing is. But basically, if you think about it, for every two centimetres I'm dropping, okay, so eight to six, I've dropped two centimetres, I've gone up three. So if you carry that on, if I go up another three, I've dropped four, so that's a total of six. Go up another three, it's a total of nine, and I've dropped down to two. Go up another three, is down to naught, so I'm at the point on my pyramid, and therefore... Um, it's 12 in total is the height, which is where the heights come from. All right, so chuck that all in your calculator. So we've got um, 8 times 8 times 12 divided by 3 minus uh, 6 times 6 times 9 divided by 3. And I end up with 148 centimetres cubed. All right, frustrum's a little bit tougher, um, to be honest. That'll be right at the end of the paper. But um, they're perfectly capable, you're perfectly capable of doing them, you've just got to think quite carefully about them.